Hey guys, welcome to the last episode of Overclock for 2022. Please like, share and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. So it's the end of 2022. So I want to talk about all the games that I've played and the best and the worst. Let's start with games that didn't hit the mark. And then we move up to the better. Starting us off at number five, we have Borderlands Three. Okay, I am ready here. You guys ready to ride? You know you're all assembled and ready. But hear me out, okay? I get it. Borderlands is a great franchise. It was fun and innovative, right? But where is the fun cast of characters from Borderlands Two? If everything in Borderlands Three feels forced and annoying, and for me that just ruins the game. Next up on the list, we have Digimon Survive. I have a confession to make. I love Digimon, but this game is too much visual novel and not enough fun, engaging gameplay. Admittedly, I have not completed the game. I have not played fully, but maybe after I play, I might change my opinion. But for now, it sticks at number four. Just below Digimon, we have another game that I think a lot of viewers for Overclock. And other gamers have strong opinions about, it, and that would be Overwatch 2. And if you haven't already, go and check out the first episode of Overclock to find out what I think about Overwatch 2. But TLDR, how I feel about it is, it's basically the same game, a crash cash grab, if you would. And honestly, people have to coax me into playing it now. So yeah. The second worst game for 2022, in my opinion, is Tower of Fantasy. This Genshin Impact wannabe has some nice features, like you get to customize your own character. You know, you don't have to stick to the female main character that you just start start off with. But after playing for a while, you realize that the characters feel one-dimensional. They don't have the soul of Genshin Impact. As you play, you realize that characters that you interact with. Tend to feel one-dimensional, and maybe this fantasy isn't exactly entertaining. And my worst game of 2022 is Warframe. Admittedly, I used to love this game. I sank in almost 800 hours. That's like playing 24 hours a day for more than a month. But here's the thing: there's too much farming. I mean, I did stop the game not because of farming, but because there is. The game, the story wasn't completed, and there's only farming to do. But I recently heard from my friend that the story, there's more story missions, and that you see even a frame that I really want to play. And I got back into it. I really tried. I tried to to get all the equipment needed to play the story mode. But guess what? To continue, you had to farm. I understand that. With all games or most games, farming is just a part and parcel, right? But there has to be a balance. You can't expect me to farm forever. Honestly, yeah. Let's move on to better games. I need to relax. Now that I'm relaxed, let's talk about the best games of 2022. Starting with number five, which is kind of cheating because it's two games: Monster World and Rise. You know how earlier we were talking about how farming needs to be a balance. Well, based on Monster Hunter, I think Capcom has got it down. The farming can—it's not mind-numbing, you know. You get to enjoy it, and you got to say you feel a progression when you do it. And the monsters range from goofy to terrifying, and all the rewards you get is simply so satisfying to craft your weapons. At number four, we have GTA V Online. I might be surprising for a lot of people, but I only started playing it, and my friends have been really good with helping me catch up. And with our powers combined, my organization Mutton Stocks is on a rise in the criminal underworld. With the engaging story missions, I think that GTA V Online has just enough to keep me entertained. The next game we're going to talk about has an Ed Sheeran literally singing. Celestia. Do you know what game it is? If you don't, 
what rock have you been living under? Are you Patrick Star? <laughs> the game is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. These games are coming in third on our top five. And though I'm still early in the game, I got to say, this has been nothing like previous Pokemon games which I struggle to play through. Because the absolute freedom, the open world, absolute highlights, man. And I'm hoping to play a lot more Pokemon Violet in the new year. We are almost at the top, and for runner-up, we have Digimon Story Cyber Suit. Are you surprised? I mean, I told you, I love Digimon. And unlike Digimon Survive, Cyber Sleuth has a lot more, it's a lot more fun uh, RPG. Especially when I get to grow all my favorite Digimon, especially my favorite Gallonmon. And what can I say? Maybe that's my first step on becoming a Gallon Man. If you made it this far, congratulations. Now let me tell you my favorite game of 2022, which would be Drumroll Cyberpunk 2077. I know, strange game to choose, right? But before its release, it was hyped to heaven and beyond, unrealistic levels, right? And when it came out, complete dumpster fire. But now, the devs at CD Projekt Red have been working hard and now the game is actually really fun. But if you are like me and you bought it on the first day on release, man, bro, I think you understand my pain, right? I am so glad that the devs continue working on the game because it's so enjoyable. And I'm really proud to say that I almost completed every mission in the game. So guys, that was my worst and best games of 2022. But before I say goodbye, we have shit post of the week today's post is by Bane Williams and the post you can as you guys know Twitter CEO Elon Musk is leaving his position and his supposed replacement seems a little familiar but I mean with a mustache like that he can't be worse than Elon Musk who will still be the owner of Twitter the internet is a wild place but I hope you enjoyed this episode of Overclock and leave a comment on what was your biggest misses or hits in gaming of 2022 or even leave me a comment on what you want me to cover in terms of gaming and tech don't forget to like share and subscribe or follow with all that said this is city joe dharmic out keep on gaming and wishing all you guys a happy new year and may 2023 be a wonderful time for gaming. See you next time.